guys, it's the afternoon of October 15th and I just got set up in the dry pond stand. It's about 54 degrees today and overcast. We had a little bit of rain today and uh, we've got primarily a westerly wind. Um, I'm going after R2 tonight. I think we've got a pretty legit chance at seeing them tonight. Um, one year ago exactly, uh, he walked through uh, this little funnel that we're in tonight uh, at about 3.30. So uh, we got in here a little extra early today. It's about three o'clock. So um, we're hoping that he's gonna do a repeat of what he did last year. I got a picture of him la or last night, uh, not too far from here. And uh, I think he likes to make a certain loop around this property. If I can catch him on his pattern at all, um, I think this is a really high probability place to see him. I think we got a pretty good chance. Uh, it's gonna be exciting if he does anything like he did last year. Uh, he's gonna be a dead deer, so. We're gonna sit back, get quiet, and enjoy the night. It should be a really good weekend full of deer. It's about 4.45 and uh, just had the buck that we know pretty well. Uh, we're calling him Phaser. Um, he was just work, he was working that same edge over there and uh, just kind of worked his way. Uh, meandering, feeding on acorns and th stuff uh, right through here and he, the closest he was was probably about 30 yards. If you can remember back to last year, um, we had a pretty cool encounter with him when I believe he was a three-year-old last year. Uh, he fell asleep, uh, <laughs> bedded down and fell asleep right under me and Shelf Effer at about 40 yards uh, during in November last year. So that was kind of a cool encounter with him last year. But he's a really cool looking buck. He, I believe he's a nice, nice four-year-old. So hopefully um, some of the more mature deer uh, specifically R2 uh, kind of take that same route but hopefully they make their way through here tonight.
what we're down to about the last 10 minutes. And it's been a pretty uneventful night. Um, after those uh, couple of bucks moved through, we only saw one little fawn below us here for a super short period of time. But uh, it was a really good night. The deer were moving. I just was not in the right spot. So if anything shows up uh, here in the last 10 minutes, I'll be sure to show you. But uh, we're going to get back after it tomorrow. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's a little better. Well, that doe and fawn cut in, so I don't know what spooked them. Maybe a coyote or something, but I look behind me and it looks like there's some storms coming. So this might be a very short hunt. But just to fill you in, in the past week, um, we had high temps and it was the youth hunt going on. So I didn't go out this weekend or last weekend. But uh, I've gotten some really nice bucks on camera lately uh, in Greene County where I hung my stand and if I would have turned around that evening and hunted it I could have shot a nice 10 pointer so then my other spot in Greene County I got a really nice 8 pointer but uh, yeah so I'm, I'm set up pretty good I'm just kind of waiting what's going on at around my place so usually they will the bigger bucks will come into the area uh, middle of October so I'm just kind of waiting to see if something bigger shows up I'll hunt around my place or otherwise I'll be heading to Greene County so I guess uh, we'll see what happens in the upcoming weeks but and who knows I'm hunting an area right now that I had really nice pictures of a buck in August but I've had nothing really since but I guess we'll see what happens the rest of the night tonight stay tuned It's October 18th and we're back here in the redneck blind overlooking a food plot. We want to hunt the spot that we found last Saturday but the wind is still wrong for that spot. Um, there's a lot of buck sign up in that area but uh, we're not going to chance it until uh, we get the right wind and it gets a little bit closer to the rut. So tonight we're going to be sitting in the blind here. We've had a lot of my friends have been saying they've been seeing a lot of deer just before dark uh, coming out and feeding. So we thought we'd try the food plot tonight and hopefully something will come out before dark.
we're back at the car now and uh, those bucks went into that wood lot and they never made their way around to us. I didn't think they would, but these possibly could be the two bucks that we saw Saturday morning. Um, there are two of them hanging out together. I don't know that for sure, but for now we're going to say they're the same two bucks. So we're going to pull our Cuddyback trail cameras out of the one farm that we have them and we're going to bring them into the into this wood lot here. So we're gonna get those trail cameras up and hopefully get some pictures and be able to somehow pattern this buck. Uh, this isn't a very big area. We've got about 40 acres here to hunt, but if he's living in this 40, hopefully we'll be able to get an opportunity at him before the season's out.